Greetings. My name is Inspector O'Reilly. I'm an inspector with the police, the special police. I'm investigating the mysterious disappearance of the missing cowboy, Pat, host of an alleged kid's show who's been missing ever since he disappeared. The people with this show have allowed me this time to keep you updated on the case. This is what's happened. One morning, just as he was beginning his show, as he had every week for the past 33 years, cowboy Pat disappeared in a mysterious flash of light. I suspect foul play. Witnesses to the crime are Smiling Tom, an actor who worked with a missing person, and a technician who also worked with a missing person. That was a week ago. The missing person is still missing. Until he is recovered, the technician will stand in as the show's host. He's been trained by Smiling Tom to be as much like the missing person as possible. I mean, except he won't be missing. He'll be like how Cowboy Pat was before he became a missing person. He will be here. All right? You can watch the show now. Did I mention I'm a cop? Howdy, partners. It's me, Cowboy Slim. Cowboy who? Where's Pat? Oh, he disappeared. But, but what, what's that? That's a question mark. Glad to see you could all make it down to this neck of the woods, because, ooh-wee, we're all set to have us a rootin' tootin', straight shooting good time. So mosey on up and set yourself down on a hay bale, and we'll get going. But where are my manners? Let's have a mighty big Cowboy Slim welcome for Smiling Tom. Smiling Tom. Howdy to you, Cowboy Slim, and howdy to all the little partners at home. Yeah, Smiling Tom and I got a pretty good show planned for you today. Uh, I got a bunch of really wild stuff for us to watch. Wild stuff? Uh, yeah. And then uh, at the end of the show, we got a, kind of a special little feature for you. Well, that's right, Cowboy Slim. Hemp Lariat and his amazing lasso. No. No, I, I found a bunch of stuff lying around the station. Figured we could take it up onto the roof and uh, throw it off and watch it smash on the ground. Be pretty wild. But, but, Cowboy Slim, throwing stuff off a roof, that's not a very cowboy thing to do, is it? No, not at all. But uh, before we go up onto the roof, let's uh, listen to some music. Hey, who's that uh, hokey banjo guy who plays around here? You mean, you mean Hillbilly Billy, but, yeah, but Hillbilly, he's Hillbilly not Billy. scheduled today. Okay, I'm, so uh, well, right now he's... let's give a big uh, Cowboy Slim welcome to Hillbilly Billy. Well, I wonder if he's here. I was uh, I was just wondering if maybe you uh, know something different. Like, like what? Like something Faster, louder, like rock and roll. I play in a rock and roll band in town. <laughs> he plays in a rock and roll band in town. Hey, you got an electric guitar? In the car. Hey, go get it. All right. All right. Okay. So uh, while we're waiting, let's uh... mosey on over to the craft corral. No, no, no. We'll. Uh... But uh, Cowboy Slim, we always mosey on over to the craft corral at the beginning of the show. Why? Why? I don't know. It's just what cowboys do. You know, Smiling Tom, there's something I don't get about this show. Uh, what's that, Cowboy Slim? Well, why are we always doing this cowboy thing? But what do you mean, Cowboy Slim? We are cowboys. <sighs> no, we're not. I mean, I'm definitely not, and I don't think you are either, Mr. Tom. Uh, you can call me Smiling Tom there, old partner. It's just that I, I think we should have some fun. But we are having fun. It's always lots of fun here at the Old Corral, isn't it, little partners at home? Well, I suppose it's okay if you go for the, the cowboy thing, but, you know, really, Smiling Tom, there aren't that many cowboys around here. But I bet there are a lot of people who'd like to pretend they're little cowboys and cowgirls. Yeah. And it sure helps them pretend when they get to visit their good old cowboy buddies, Cowboy Slim and Smiling Tom. Well, I suppose. And what do you think would happen if those little partners at home turned on the Cowboy Pat show and they didn't see cowboys? 
I'll tell you what would happen. They'd cry. They would? Oh, yes, they would. They'd cry their little eyes out because then they wouldn't be able to pretend they were cowboys anymore. But they could pretend by themselves. It wouldn't be the same, Cowboy Slim. We're talking about little children who need us. They're counting on us. Do you want to let them down? Do you want to break their little cowboy and cowgirl hearts? <laughs> no. <laughs> hey there, little guy. Uh, don't take it so tough. I know it must be hard losing cowboy Stan so suddenly. Pat. Right. No, no, it's cowboy Pat. It's the guy who disappeared. Well, whatever. Anyway, don't you worry your little heart smiling, Tommy, because I'm on the verge of a major breakdown right now. Now, let's see. I came in here for something. You two are cowboys, and I'm a cop. Right. I'm still a cop. That's a good thing. So, it's for those sad little boys and girls at home that we've got to be good cowboys, Cowboy Slim. But... And now it's time for this week's episode of Trail of the Royal Mounted. Oh, now that's good. Boys, swing your party. I'm not having deja vu. How about you? Oh, you guys party too hard. I'm leaving. Look, Babs is exhausted. The snatching mountain. Ouch! Dancing fool! Okay, boys. You're never gonna get it off. You're never gonna get it off. Time to coming off. Okay, come on. Come up, did it come up? Oh, I don't believe it. It must be crazy glued on there. One of you fellas go down there and search him for the map. Someone get a rope. Don't look at me. Oh, 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 oh. It, it's the crooning cops. It's the crooning cops. Singing mounties. He'll make us open the bar. He's dead. He'll keep. Let's book. And the friends are all aboard. Oh, man, am I far. It's all that singing. And the peeping mountie. Okay, honeycakes, time to take a little stroll with Uncle Phantom. <laughs> okay, okay, up we go. Jeez, oh, no. Crummy sort of a place, this. Huh? I suppose there's nothing but rats and spiders around here. Mm. All right, throw them in the back and watch the upholstery. You get your horse and go tell Greg we've got the kid. All right. Hey, wait a minute. Who's Greg? I'm so thirsty, I feel like I'm lying unconscious at the bottom of a dry well. Well said. Oh, oh, gee. Oh, my goodness. That, oh, uh, uh. Huh? I think I can, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. No. Oh. I think I can, oh, okay. oh, honey, you should lose a few. Now, where am I going to find a horse? Huh? Huh? Ah, oh, there's one. Yeah, what are the odds? Oh, oh, that was some party. Okay, horsey, up we go. Hey, oh, you've been drinking. I don't remember. Oh. Silly! Silly Billy! Silly Billy, I'm out here in the woods all by myself, a defenseless woman! Hey, hey, hey what's what? the matter with you? Don't you know there's bad guys lurking about? Why, you're just going to have to take me home and cook me a big meal. I guess that's the only thing to do. Huh? But you don't know where I live. Mm. I'll show you the way. Well, I was just joking about that meal business. My lucky day. Uh, where, where'd you go? Uh, oh, there you are. Well, you, yeah, you, well, you know how to get on one of these. Okay, I'll, I'll walk. Oh, I've been through the desert. I'm a horse with no name. Hey, it's those jerks, and they've got silly Billy. Time to kick some bad guy butts. Oh, here I come. Now you keep the kid in the shack so he can't squeal on us. Oh, well, what do you say? Oh, the shack. Oh, good. I can get some reading done. Now, I'm sure I must have dropped those keys around here somewhere. Hmm. Hmm. Hey. Hey, horse. Huh? Huh? Uh, nah. Horse, horse. Hey, hey, over here. Horse, horse, I'll, I'll, horse. I'll keep it down. Come on. What's the matter with you? I'm just going to tie this around your neck oh, here. 
Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay, I'm out of here. Let's go. Little oh. Haul it, baby. Oh. Okay. okay. Here you go. I got a gun. I'm out. Oh. Escape. Bang. Oh. Bang. Oh. He's got a gun. Bang. Oh, Come on, let's move it. He's got a gun. Darn it. Oh, okay, oh. here we are. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I've enjoyed myself today. Hmm. Creeping, peeping, bounty. What an ugly room. We're renting. Let's find one that isn't broken. Uh -huh. oh. huh? It's a meteorite. No, there's a note. Look. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. Do not inform the mounted police of what happened. Your friend. Why, that's ridiculous. Somebody's trying to frighten you, hmm. and he's sure frightening me. Wait till I explain. Spread Eagle, this is Mr. Logan. Friend of yours? Yes. Good. Hey, hey, hey. Riding, bareback riding. Can't you can it for five minutes? This is all very confusing to me. I wish you people would tell me what it's all about. Me got no idea, none. You sure got a lot of creeps around here. Silly Billy. Hi, Seth. Hey, big Indian Mr. Pan. Logan, this is my brother Billy. How are you getting around, Mr. Logan? How are you, Billy? Singing horse, driving me nuts. Hey, guys, hey, guys, that uh, pasty face schmuck, he's over hanging out with a fake Indian, and then he took his hat off. What? You mean Logan? Yup. Well, how'd he escape? I don't know. Well, you told me he was dead. I thought he was. Well, it doesn't matter. He was making moves on the babe, but he's staying in Spread Eagle's teepee tonight. Mm. Huh? Mm. Never mind, my friends. We'll get him some other way. Come. What are you doing, Shakespeare now? Hey, wait. Who made you, Bob? What's in all these cans? Okay, oh. Logan, up and at him. It's party hey, time. Oh, my take goodness, oh, okay. Okay. Hey, 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 a mellow owl, baby. Hi, kids. We're back. Their little partner's at home, Cowboy Slim. And we're their good old cowboy buddies, remember? No, we're not. I'm not a cowboy. Yes, you are, Cowboy Slim. That's why you're called Cowboy Slim. I'm not a cowboy. Of course you are. We're all cowboys here. All right. I've got an idea. When cowboys can't agree on something, they have to settle their differences like real cowboys. And do you know how real cowboys settle their differences, Cowboy Slim? Shootout. No, no. We're not allowed to shoot guns around here. And no, around here, cowboys settle their differences with a good, old-fashioned, friendly arm wrestle. <laughs> an arm wrestle? Yes, an arm wrestle. And if I win, we do only the things that cowboys do. Things that'll make Cowboy Pat proud of us when he gets back from riding the range. We can. And if you win, you get to do whatever it is that people like you do on TV shows. So is it a deal? But we can. Good. And now it's time to visit our old friend, Professor Long John's, and see what kind of experiment he's got planned for us today. Oh, uh, no, no. I, I got rid of all that Professor Long John stuff. You got rid of it? Why? It's dumb. It's not dumb, it's science. No, it's not science. Today he was making beans. It's not science. Well, what does a cowboy like you know about science anyway? Oh, just what I see on Think About It. Think about it? Think about it with Professor Dave. Here we go. Morning. My name's Professor Dave. Hi. I've come all the way to Africa to find interesting things for us to think about. Whoa. So don't you sit there. Think about it, man. Okay, here we go. Now, the reason why I came to Africa is to go on a safari. Safari in Swahili means trip. <laughs> anyway, the first thing you do 
when you go on a safari is to get out of the city. You think that's obvious, huh? You should have seen what happened when my friend Dr. Dan came to Africa. He hired this guide real cheap and never got out of the hotel parking lot. Now, Dr. Dan gave me this guide's name, so I figured I'd give him a second chance. There he is, right there. Yeah, that's him. And, uh, there's the driver we hired. Don't worry, just keep on going. Well, I was going round and round in circles. Needless to say, I was beginning to lose my confidence in this guy. After spending about a day and a half touring the city of Nairobi, we ran out of gas. By the looks of things, so did Nairobi. <laughs> This pump didn't even have a hose. Yes, yes, I think we're at a gas station. Of course we're at a gas station. Why not? Well, luckily for all concerned, the gas shortage didn't last long, and we were soon back on our way. This time, on the right track, thanks to the driver. Oh, look, there are some houses. And there are some tenement buildings there, yes. Oh, look, look, basically. And people, there are people. Uh, wait a minute, did that sign say prison? And there are some cows. Heavy. Yes, cows are very heavy. Well, we finally got out into the country where I figured we'd see a lot more interesting things. Over there is a lake, and there's some ducks. Whoa! What are you doing, you silly fool? Sorry, I thought you said duck. But soon we were back on our way again, looking for some decent animals. When all of a sudden, we came across this huge gray thing in the road. That is a very, very big, big big animal. Whoa, what is it? It is very, very big. Mm -hmm. Yes. And that is a cat. Well, the guide said we were really lucky to see both a cat and a very, very large gray animal both in the same day. So, off we went to a different park. This time, the famous Serengeti National Park. Uh, now, Serengeti in Swahili means endless plains. Sure were a lot of them. Looks a lot like Saskatchewan, doesn't it? Except it isn't. You know how you can tell? First of all, it's December, and there's no snow. Second of all, the chickens are much bigger. Could be a walking feather duster, I don't know. Hey, fellow thinkers, guess what? It's time to say goodbye now, so until next time, this is Professor Dave saying, think about it. Think about, Think about it. it. Professor Dave was brought to you by the Dave Institute of Primal Thinking. Cowboys. Let's see. Cowboys. Cowboys ride horses. Horses eat oats. Oats are the main ingredient in granola. And hippies eat granola. That's it! Hippies! Hippies kidnapped Cowboy Pat! Why didn't I think of this before? I've got to tell Smiling Tom. I'll be right back. Put on a cartoon, would you? I've got uh, Bobby Bumps here. Bobby Bumps? Ah, uh, nothing like a little Bobby Bumps. There he is! There's the cute little guy right now. And hey, there's this cute little dog. And what do you know? They're playing cute little games. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, I used to do that to my nephew. Then he got hurt. What's he spinning him on? What is that thing? Uh, it must be his tail. Hey, who is that guy? He got Bobby Wins' dog. Hey, I'm going after him. Did you get an eyewitness description? Who, who is he? Who is he? It's only a cartoon, Inspector. Uh, right. Sorry. It's just that I get so confused. Hi, kids, we're back. Where are kids? Their little partners at home. They're kids. Their little partners. Their little partners are like lasso tricks and guns and country music. They're little kids who like to watch things getting thrown off the roof and funny guests and rock music. Rock music? Never! <laughs> hey, what happened? What do you mean? Well, look, no one can see us. All they can see is that uh, the cowboy from the posse. You're talking to the uh, new technician hombre there. 
Well, that old really guy probably just sat on the board again. Well, at least we still have the sound. But the fifth time, the fifth time I passed that inspector's exam, and my mummy was prouder of me that day than any mummy has ever been of her son. Anyways, well, that'll be for me. Inspector O'Reilly here. Yeah, Chief. What's that? Somebody broke into the Aerospace Museum and reprogrammed all their computers to make toast, huh? Now what kind of evil honcho would do that? Uh-huh. An eyewitness description? Well, if that's all you got, give it to me. Uh-huh. All dressed in black, long hair, and a ponytail. Presumed to be a technician and also presumed to be eating toast. Okay, I'll let you know if I find anything. Inspector, can I offer you some toast? Well, thank you, son. Now, what was I up here for? Take a look at this. Uh-huh. What do you got? Who is that guy? Wait, he disappeared. What? Right off the face of the... And he disappeared with the rope. He stole that rope. Hey. You don't suppose Cowboy Bat was here to steal a rope, too, do you? Huh? Maybe not. Oh, here's somebody else. I may want to talk to him. Let's see. I've never seen him before. Looks like a new guy. Oh, wait, he disappeared, too. <gasps> I've got it. The flashes. The rope. Everything is clear now. Why didn't I think of it before? I've got to tell Smiling Tom. Of course. Smiling Tommy, your problems are over, little guy. You'll be happy to know that I've solved this mystery. I'll have Cowboy Pat back here at your feet and by your side in about a week's time. Well, that's just great, isn't it, little partners at home? So, uh, where is he? He... I forgot. Let's see. Hippies, rope, Africa, toast. I should have written it down. Now, let's see. Hippies rope out. Okay, well, this is only a minor setback. Don't you worry too much about it. I'll have this figured out soon. Let's see. Hippies rope. Look, you just do your job and let me do mine, all right? I'll have this cowboy whatchamacallit out riding the pines or whatever before no time is up. How hard could it be to find a guy in a cowboy suit anyway? Uh, it's not like he was kidnapped by aliens or anything. <laughs>